Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are going to be making the Negroni for our classic cocktail series. The Negroni is a super old school Italian cocktail. It's something that I like to drink before a meal. It's bright. It's kind of citrusy a little bit from the uh, from the orange. It's something that is really, really, really tasty and more importantly, really, really easy to make. It's gin, sweet vermouth, and Campari. Campari is just an aperitif. Uh, the idea there is it's something slightly bitter, just to kind of wake your palate up, excite your palate before a big meal. So let's go ahead and get started. First, we're going to be starting with our sweet vermouth. Again, we use Antica. Antica is on the sweeter side, which I don't think is necessarily a bad thing, especially in a cocktail like this. One ounce of the Antica. And then we're going to be using Campari. It's going to be one ounce of Campari. Now, in terms of what gin you use in this cocktail, I think that that, in my opinion, is largely based on what sweet vermouth you're using. Um, I personally don't care for Tangeray all that much, but when we're using the Antica, we want something to be able to cut through that kind of latent sugar. And I think in this context, Tangeray works really, really well. You're not left with a ton of that almost pine saw kind of cleaner flavor. You're just left with something, just the edge of it. So it's going to be an ounce of that as well. And then we're ready to stir. Again, you see me keeping my hand on the glass just to try to get an indication of how cold the glass is getting so I know when to taste it. <clears throat> Don't ever believe anyone that tells you that you need to use X amount of turns or 42 turns for a Negroni. You really, it's so dependent on the ice you're using. So I'll give that a taste. It needs just a couple more turns. <clears throat> Classically, the Negroni is finished with an orange expression. I like that as well. I also like to uh, use a lemon expression because I think Negronis can be on the heavier side. Um, so I just squeeze the lemon in and then I discard the lemon. People freak out when they see it in there, so I just leave it off. nose on this cocktail it, it's got to be up there with some of the best you get the citrus from the, the lemon and the orange you're also getting a little bit of that kind of bitter on your nose as well and then when you drink it like I said the tangerine comes through but in the best way possible you're not left with that kind of super piney flavor it's just a hint of that which I think in the context of this cocktail with the Campari the slight bitter herbal quality of that and then that kind of raisinated quality of the sweet vermouth, you're left with a really well-balanced, delicious cocktail. Oh, that's so good. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments, and please subscribe.